satis med is mindfulness, but it's yoga as a way of life. Feels like living in in harmony with the environment on a on a physical and and mental level. Everything that they're teaching is the way that they're living. It's very special to be in a place that truly embodies what yoga is. Doing a teacher training is a really important thing to find the right teachers that you resonate with. So I looked at lots of other yoga teacher trainings. There's so many out there, so it's quite. It, was, it took a long time, I think, to to be discerning about where I want to invest my time and who I want to trust to teach me. Because mm -hmm. what I was looking for was something really rooted in integrity. Kira, who teaches the asanas, is just very, very, very experienced. She's come on such a long path to get where she is now and she really understands the asanas on such a deep level that she can really teach them from like inward out. And Christoph as well is really experienced with the pranayama, teaching it and with breathing and so there's a lovely way that he introduces breath into the practice. The emphasis wasn't just on the asana practice. There was looking at all the different elements, like mindfulness, like Buddhism, bringing in those kind of you know core ethics. The ethics behind yoga, the mentality, and um, and paying attention to the mindfulness elements so that when I'm on the map it makes sense why I'm there, why am I spending an hour of my day doing this, not just as a workout but because it will help me in my life off the mat to be more present, to be more in my body. So I mean this is this is really important though because because for many of us and I would say in, in the contemporary world the asana is the main thing in yoga and, and it is a, it's a thing, it's a sort of standalone thing. And we, we get great delight, or we, hopefully we get a very positive experience of practicing, but it has very little bearing on the way that we move through the world and, and try to manage our affairs. And, but actually, underneath this all, and certainly within the classical formulation of yoga, and of course, at the, the, at the base of Buddhism, is ethics. In the West, we've taken the DNA out of, uh, of yoga by taking out of it the ethical practices, which we can't dispense with if we are on a self-development path. Uh, they are absolutely essential. Uh, they are not uh, uh, an optional add-on. Without them, uh, you very quickly come to a roadblock and get caught into uh, into the three poisons: greed, hatred, and delusion. So often, for yogis, it's um, it's manifest in uh, vanities, that the, the 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 wonderful things that they can do with their bodies, walking on their hand, and so on, and they forget that this is only a very small part of yoga. It's also something about being on an island, but not just on an island, on an island at the edge of Europe. Like, we're really out there. Yeah, it's quite magical, isn't it? Because it's, it really helps to be isolated physically as well as mentally from, from the rest of my life so I can just really focus on it. It's nice to be, I need to be removed, I need the, the geographical distance, I need the journey actually, but it feels, it feels like, you know, the same 
it, this feels like my yoga home and I let Christoph and Kira my yoga parents. <laughs> You look across the ocean at the top of the big hill by the cliffs and you know, we go on these mindful walks and these meditation walks in the landscape. And and, you know, and sort of seeing this expansiveness of nature, I feel very close to the elements here. There's something really interesting about this, the space from the world. Just, I'm really enjoying not having any shops around, like not kind of having a little cafe to go into. Because that's really distracting. You know, there's, there's really, you're just with the environment, you're just with the space. And that's it. The place that we're in here is so conducive. The island and the accommodation and delicious food from their organic garden. You know, they're very conscientious about all the details. We, we live here in this time together and we're all playing an active role in how it, in how it flourishes. So with the karma yoga, for example. We have some karma yoga to do, so it means we have a, a job uh, that we are given at the beginning. Uh, so I've been working in the woods, clearing uh, some wood that have, have been chopped. And that's a way to experience what you're learning in a real sort of in normal life or in a task that you would do normally. Um, so it's not like you're on the mat all day long or meditating all day long. It's really much integrated to the daily life. So I think that's also why it comes in because you have that time where you don't feel like you're cut off from the normal life. I've been surprised how, um, how much I've enjoyed the anatomy stuff because when I was at school I never did any of that stuff and I just hated science. So now it's not, it doesn't feel like science, you know, this sort of thing that I'll never grasp because it's so integral to, you know, being fused together with all these other elements that I'm really hungry for that now actually. I'm probably going to go and harass Kerry online. <laughs> well, I've got the experience of learning with an online training and that worked for me and I think now technology is good enough to, and I think because we also, I like the fact we are three residential, so it's not like you're left on your own uh, with your, com your computer, and you're going to come here, and then we have the group, we have the, the support here, so it, we don't, I don't, I will never feel detached, I think, from the because I know the people, so I think that works very well.